So how's everybody doing? Can you all hear me? Can you all see me well? All the things and um, just let me know. So there's a little chat box down here and you could just type into the chat box to communicate with me and let me know where you're coming from, where you're listening from, what time is it by you? How long you've been doing hair for? I'd love to know all the things. So you just go ahead and comment down there in the chat box. And I'm gonna start hydrating because I have a lot of talking to do. A lot of talking. Hi, Roselle. I know you. 22 years. How are you, sweetheart? Hey there, Emmy, coming in from Pennsylvania. What's happening, sugar? Thanks for joining, guys. I'm so excited that everybody's here. We're going to start promptly at six o'clock because I know it's like everybody's evening and it's like prime time and it's hair National Hairdressers Day off, or maybe some of you work today. I didn't. Hi, Carla. I'm excited too. I'm excited for everybody to be here. This is going to be, um, I think, hopefully, as long as everybody shows up, it's going to be a pretty busy webinar. Hi, Tara, 30 years, and you just came back to the salon four years ago. Hi, Elise. Oh, I love your name. <laughs> I follow Elise purely because of her name and her talent, too, on the, on the, on the gram. Hey, Bethany. Hi. Oh, you've been doing hair for four years, and you're so excited. Oh, my God, you just opened up a salon suite in August, Elise. That's amazing. I love that. Pure entrepreneurship. I love it. Oh, that's so great. So everybody will probably be getting their, like, Zoom notifications now. Um, usually it does it, like, right on the button, and then everybody else starts zipping in. So we had one yesterday, and it went really, really well. So I should be a well-polished machine. Hi, Rhonda. How are you? Thank you, honey, for showing up. And thanks for coming in and being here. Yeah, it was a good one yesterday. It was a good one. Awesome, awesome. I'm so excited about today. And we have like an action-packed webinar for all of you guys today. Lots of information. I am in Chicago, so it's like 6 p.m. here. I actually put on my makeup like at like four o'clock, which is like weird. <laughs> I'm like so weird um, to get ready for today. And then I did some more filming and content creation for today. And then, yeah, and then we're just going to get to this. And then cart is open and we are just going to get cracking on all this awesome information that I have for all of you. So just a couple more minutes. So I bet it's nice and warm down in Florida where all you night people are coming in nice and warm down there. It's actually, it was raining here today and then it was um, a little bit on the warm side, which was nice in Chicago. 7 p.m. in Kentucky. Oh, you're in Kentucky, Rhonda, wonderful. Yeah, I have people from everywhere. So it's like, people are like, I'm in Australia, I'm here, I'm there. I'm like, well, y'all get in when you come in. So we have some new people coming in. Where are you from? Where are you coming in from? What's your name? How long have you been doing hair for? Tell me your story in the chat box down here in the bottom. There's a little chat box. You can go ahead and just let me know where you're coming in from. Canada. Hi, Ken. Is that your name, Ken? I cannot, can't see your picture. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Monique from Winnipeg. Hello, Rhonda, 35 years. So are you hitting that um, 35 year mark or 30 year mark that a lot of people hit where you're like, Ugh, like kind of getting like, just like, so like thick of stuff. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right, everybody's in now. Okay, it's 6 p.m. And we are ready to rock here. We are getting there. All right, I am recording. Okay, 
Claire's here. Everybody's here. Hello. Hello, my friends. Everybody's piling in now. So we'll just give everybody like a minute or two because everybody's getting like their Zoom notifications right now. Like, you have a Zoom, you have a Zoom, 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 Zoom. And everybody's coming in right now. Carly from Illinois. Where in Illinois are you, Carly? Oh, my Carly. Carly from like around the corner. Hello, I'm an instructor now. So passing the torch. Good. Yes. Standing behind the chair for a long time is like, it's it, like I did a post, um, you know, hairdressing's hard and all the emotional stuff that we absorb from people. And um, oh boy, there's a lot of comments on there. And I noticed a trend of 30 years. People were like, done. And I am 34. Okay, guys, 601, ding dong, let's start. Everybody's ready, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna share some screen and let's rock and roll. Hi guys, I am Elise Rock and welcome to Unfuck Your Salon Business in 2023 with powerhouse setting goal techniques that will actually get you results in your salon business. So I am ready to rock. Everybody ready? Hit me a one or a two or a smiley face or something in the chat box here. So just a friendly reminder to everybody to please turn or silence your phone or turn it upside down so we don't have any interference whatsoever going on with your phone and um, just distractions because you don't want any squirrel moments and we want everybody to pay attention. I hate repeating myself. So here we go, here we go. Why are you a hairstylist? This is a great question. And I think that everybody should really, really think about it. I know I'm one, but why are you one? Did you choose this or was it chosen for you? This is what you wanna do. Nobody's forced you to be a hairstylist. I'm sure there's a couple few people that are like, oh, maybe like my mom or like, you know, like a family business and they ask you to come in, like be part of it or something. But um, for the most part, you chose to be a hairstylist and this is what you wanted to do. So especially with the mindset in the public that they have about our job, that like we really need, like we really chose this, you know what I'm saying? So we really need to like, stand up for our career you know like this is our our choice we want to be hairstylists we love our chosen path can i get a hell yeah on this so i'm going to show you how i went from 30k in debt to the bank to being debt free owning my own home car business earning six figures a week or a year while only working 25 hours behind the chair a week while having quite a bit of money in the bank as well. So I am constantly earning my income goals consistently behind the chair as well. Did you know that the average hairstylist is over 40 years old and that the average current hairstylist only lasts seven years in this career? But most newer hairstylists that come out of this business only make it past the first two years which is pretty shocking. So do you have a hard time handling all the work and pressure in your salon? Are you faced with overworking, burnout, toxic employers or coworkers or clients who you've given absolutely zero boundaries to? You have no proper systems in place, not enough income, not enough clients, or you're not properly charging for your time. Maybe you're a seasoned stylist, or you don't even know how to navigate today's world of salonisms. Do we even want to go into the aches and pains and the problems of body aches and mental pain that us stylists go through? 70% of hairstylists experience some sort of work-related injury over the course of their career. I know I'm going through one right now. So here can, who here can relate with me? We were taught to do hair. But we weren't taught to do people. Doing our books, social media, psychology, keeping up with inventory, our clients, appointments, needs, and not to mention keeping up with our continuing education and all the things that goes along with trends. It's friggin' a lot. And it's no wonder that most hairstylists only make it past seven years in this business. 
This is my beautiful Claire. After taking Elise Rocks' Lifestyles coaching course, I feel so much more confident behind the chair. She's so awesome. I feel validated in all the things. I'm looking at you, Claire. That's why I got to cover your face. <laughs> I immediately felt validated in all the things that I was feeling. And I realized I was not alone. So Claire was in my beta testing group. And she was a great fit because she is... Um, just recently, um, kind of like a new studio renter, like she's been in for like two years now and two or three years now. And she was, she's already getting burned. To hell. She was already like burning the wicked both ends. So over the next 60 minutes, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my business and show you exactly how to set actionable goals that will have actually help you unfuck your business behind the chair and make you a friggin' goal-setting machine powerhouse. You're going to learn the number one thing that keeps us from having confidence behind the chair. And spoiler alert, it has nothing to do with talents or years of experience. How to earn more money behind the chair, work less, and have the confidence to charge for it and maintain a work-life balance. And my winning BAG formula for setting goals that will actually move the needle in your salon business. By the end of this training, you're going to have your 2023 goals in the bag. So by the end, you'll be able to implement these techniques and strategies, no matter where you are in your hairstylist career. And I promise if you implement these goal setting techniques, I will help you achieve everything you want out of your life and your career. I do not want you to have a an unclear path or feel clueless about what's next for you in this industry. I know that if you're struggling to meet your business goals, if you even have any, this was never taught to me in beauty school. We were never taught to make goals. We were taught you go to beauty school, you get your hair license, you get clients and you do the hair and that's it. But we need to make goals in our business. We also never learned how to find clients, market our services. So I understand what you're feeling right now. I struggled for years to build a clientele behind the chair. So it was only until social media came out that I, that my hairstyling career really took off. Guys, I'm going to try again to get through this without crying because hair is my absolute passion. Hi friends. I'm feeling super emotional tonight too. It must be the moon and the stars. We're going into like a Pisces season right now. Okay. Hey hair friends. I'm Elise Rocks. I started my hair journey as a hairstylist 34 years ago. Like you, I started small too. It began on the back of my toilet seat in my bathroom at the age of 12. At 14, I got my first salon job shampooing and I was super excited. I got to go through beauty school through high school, which was awesome because I just wanted to get it done because I already knew how to do hair. I mean, I've been working in the salon since I was 14. I remember in beauty school, they used to put me at the table with the students that the teachers gave up on. They thought maybe they would relate better if they had another student helping them. That was me. I was the helper. So I've always been a born educator. I was fully licensed at 18 and I was quaffing hair in a small salon right out of beauty school. I've always wanted to be a hairstylist since I was a little girl. I think I was about three when I realized I wanted to be a hairstylist and I melted all the hair off my Barbies. People ask me when I realized I wanted to be a hairstylist and I always just tell them I was born this way. There is nothing that I truly ever really wanted to do. I mean, there are little things here and there that I wanted to do, but hair is my first and only love. I bounced around to a lot of salons until I found a place to rent from that basically nobody worked at. Being alone seemed to be the best fit for me. I was always a little bit odd. I didn't even fit in with the odd kids. <laughs> I just wanted to do my clients. I just wanted to do hair. I just wanted to earn a living. So I rented a space in this little salon and I continued to do that for many, many years. I was very comfortable and I was very broke. I struggled to build clients. I struggled to earn a living and I undervalued myself for many years. I didn't charge my worth. I gave up my health as well for the sake of many people's hairs, which I'm paying for today. 
I let myself go into debt, but still gave deals because I emotionally discounted them because their feelings meant more than mine. But all of that only made me a stronger stylist today. And all of my experiences, both good and bad, helped me curate the business I have now, a business that works for both me and my client. When I was 30K in debt and I didn't know what to do, I never thought I was going to get out of the hole. What I decided to do, and I really want you guys to pay attention to this, is that I invested in myself. I was broke as fuck. And I spent another $700 <laughs> on a class. I invested in my education and taught myself that I was worth more than what I was charging. That I was the most important lesson that I learned. But I also learned another skill that I could put out there to my clients that upped my value. I added value to my skill set, which added value to my clients, which, add, which added value to my work. I didn't have that money to do this at the time, but I did it because I did it because they needed to up my skill. Once I invested in myself, I was able to start charging my work and I was able to get myself out of debt. There is no reason in this profession that anybody should be in the hole unless you got like issues spending money. Like this is like stripper money. We get to keep our clothes on. OK, this is around the time that social media was really starting and I was really wasn't getting the gist of it and I wanted to understand it. So I made a plan and a good plan and it worked. See, I wasn't going to let this younger generation be. Remember, I'm 48 years old and they didn't. I wasn't going to let them be better than me. This was my chance, my chance to get on top my chance to get ahead, to build the clientele I've always dreamed of. You know, if you can't beat them, join them. So I did. And I learned how to do social media. And I took all the classes and I watched all the YouTube I could. I followed and I mimicked what I saw online. I also practiced my craft. But the more I put myself out there, the more I got the clients I was looking for, my dream clients. Now I've crafted this whole thing, the Elise Rocks thing. All because my friend said I should try doing Instagram. After eight long years of hard work, I have created a brand, the Elise Rocks brand. I did this all through goal setting, projecting, and manifesting my dream career. But I also created my dream life as well with a wonderful, loving husband who supports everything I do. This one gets me every time. The gorgeous salon I dreamt about and I have now. The salon culture I'm trying to create and will get us across to as many stylists that will listen to me. I want to change this industry and I want to change it for the better. So since then, I built my system that's worked for me, charging my worth without fear that if I do it, I will lose clients. I also learned how to charge my worth behind the chair and my clients learned to value me. Now that I've cracked the strategic stylist system, I'm passionate about teaching other hairstylists how to fully and confidently control their lives in and outside of this salon. This is my good friend, Lisa. And this was the course she needed to find my confidence behind the chair as a new business owner. Sounds amazing, right? She just opened up a brand new salon and she says that my course changed everything in her life. She's like, she's a completely different woman. Her husband even agrees with her. So let me ask you a question. What if you knew exactly how to break out of being burnt out and overworked? Not knowing how to manage your business, even if you don't have the time and confidence yet? Would setting your goals to actionable steps be something that would, have, would help you take your unique business to the next level? Who here would love to become an in-demand hairstylist in your very own business? Is anybody interested in me doing that? Let me know in the chat box. You can comment like one, two, throw me a what's up or something. Yes, baby stripper money, you know it. <laughs> so let me know if you guys want me to show you how to take this money. I'm gonna get a little sipper here. All right, guys. So over the next 20 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna walk you through my three powerhouse goal setting techniques that have helped me and my clients actually get results in our businesses. The number one thing that keeps us from having confidence behind the chair, how to earn more money behind the chair, work less, have confidence to charge for it and maintain a work-life balance. Am I winning BAG formula for setting 
goals that will actually move the needle in your salon business. So does anybody want to take a stab at the number one thing that keeps us from having confidence behind the chair? Does anybody want to take a guess? It has nothing to do with hair. I'll give you a minute. You can put it in the chat box. Oh. Mmm, these are good ones. Very good, very good. I like those, I like those. That's a good one too, Elise, and that's a good one, yes. Yes, anxiety, oh, all of the above, right, Claire? All right, the number one thing that sets you is fear. So, Cookie got it. Cookie Morgan, I like your name, by the way, Cookie. So fear is normal and you need to accept it. Recognize failure and learn how to overcome it. Don't fear failure, learn from it. The only way we grow is to fail and learn from our mistakes. Unfortunately, it's just a cycle of life. It's here to protect us. Failure and how to overcome the fear of failure. Your body uses fear to protect you. So like back in the day, it was used it so you didn't get like eaten by like, I don't know, a dinosaur or something. So now it just kind of uses it to protect a, a lot. And there's a lot of people that are a lot more fearful of a lot of things than maybe even, you know, 50 years ago. So, but we'll take it down just a notch. Um, so we'll use a foil as an example. So say you're installing a foil, you're like, man, I think that that section might've been a little thick. I think it might bleed and you pulled the foil and you realized it bled, right? And so you're like, I might not do that again, right? So you learn from your lesson, right? So, or another thing would be, um, you know, your mom told you this, the stove was hot, right? And, um, and so you don't wanna touch it, and, but you do touch it because you don't know what hot is yet when you were a little kid. And then you realized what hot was and you never touched the stove again, right? So are you a person that learns from like your mistakes or do you can you learn from somebody else's as well? So what are things that fear will keep you from doing in the salon? Raising your prices, putting yourself out there, going to classes, teaching a class, going out on your own, building a more aggressive business, charging your worth, opening your own salon, becoming an educator. I could use one. Building your own online course to teach hairstylists to find um, confidence and clarity behind the chair. It's taking me a long time to do this, guys. <laughs> so what was I afraid of when I was behind the chair? So I was fearful about raising my prices because I was afraid I was going to lose clients. And what I was actually doing is I was setting the tone for my clients and telling them that I was a low ball hairdresser. And the second thing I was telling them is that I have no worth for my skill or my talent. Because everybody knows I'm a damn good hairdresser. And I've always been a damn good hairdresser. I've been a hairdresser since I was three. I mean, those Barbies were flash. So, you know, I needed to change my way of thinking. And once I did, everything changed. And that's where paradigms come in. And your paradigms are where your brain is programmed from birth. It's the way of thinking. It's the way we were taught. And it might not be the way we want to think, right? In science, it's a philosophy. A paradigm is a distinct set of concepts or thought patterns, including theories, research methods, postulates, and standards for what constitutes legitimate contributions to a field. Holy shit, that's a lot of letters. I don't even know what any of that shit means, but I'll tell you what it means because I figured it out. It's what you learned from your mama, your daddy, your grampy, and your grammy. They taught you. They programmed into your mind, right? These are the things you want to break. You don't want to do those things anymore. Your mom taught you, and those are the things that you don't want to do anymore. My family feared money. I don't fear money. I think money comes to me very easily. I think I have an abundance of money. I do not fear any sort of money. The moment I, now I'm not telling you to go get a tattoo, anybody, okay? But the moment I tattooed cha-ching on my hand was the minute my mindset changed. 
because I said, I have money hands. And as long as they will print it, I will make it. And my hands make money. And that's all I do is make money with my hands. And I will continue to make money. As long as they're printing it, I will be making it. I had a discussion with my client the other day, Marilyn. Marilyn fears money. Marilyn said to me, Elise, I did my books the other day and it makes me sick how much money I give you every year. And thankfully I was behind her putting on the touch up because I was like, what the fuck do you want me to say to that? I'm like, well, I'm glad you find value in my, my hair, Marilyn. You know, and I'm just putting on her touch up and I'm like, you know, like, I just can't even believe she said that to me, but she fears money. She is fearful that she is not going to have money into her retirement. I'm not fearful of that. I know I'm going to have a plethora of money in my retirement because I'm going to work hard. I'm going to save and I'm going to continue on. So as long as Marilyn keeps that mindset, she's going to continue on with the same amount of money that she has in her pocket. She's not going to get any more than she already has. Me, I will continue to get a more abundance of money. Okay, so my mom also had this other mindset of um, what's mine is mine and what's his is mine never really resonated with me. I never really liked that. But she also had this other one. Don't let anybody take away your livelihood. I will earn my keep till the day I die. I will never let anybody take pay for my way or anything. So for me, that is some a paradigm that I'm keeping from my mother. But the one where she said, what's his is mine and what's mine is mine. I don't like that one. It's that one I can kick to the curb, okay? So what are your wants and what are your whys? So we're gonna accept your failures and face your fears. The only way to get good at something is to fail. We only learn from failure, right? The first time you did a foil, I'm sure it wasn't like the most awesome foil in the world. And I'm sure the second one wasn't either, but the more you did it, you got better. And the more you made mistakes with them, the more you changed the way you did it and the better you got. So just remember that one mistake doesn't define who you are and you've done tons of wonderful things. And this one thing or these things do not define you. Look guys, I've done a lot of shitty things in my life and I've done a lot of wonderful things in my life. And those wonderful things or those shitty things don't take away from the wonderful things that I've done. And we can turn this into the salon. So I've done like 10 people today and everybody prays, oh, Elise, you're the best. Nobody does my hair like you. You're the best, you're the best, okay? But then that one person that's like, oh my God, you ruined my hair, right? Now I wanna quit, I wanna die, I wanna close my salon, I'm no good and I hate my life. And this could take weeks to recover from, weeks. So, just remember that that one moment does not define you people and that you can recover from this. I had something bad happen within the past year and it has shooken me to the core still um, to this day. And so I can relate with you because I live this life too, because I do work behind the chair. So you're gonna take the ones that serve you and get rid of the ones that you don't. The ones that help you make you reach your goals and the ones that, keep, that you can keep around. Take this time to learn from your mistakes and take the opportunity to grow and learn. So let's change these paradigms, this programming that has been made in your mind. Subconscious programming will make you super excited about this program and then you're gonna start to falter, right? You're gonna be like, yeah, let's do it. I'm so excited. I wanna do this with Elise. And then it's gonna, and then you're not really gonna give a shit anymore because it's your subconscious mind taking back over just to go back, to settle back in your old ways, go sit down, don't take any action. Go be complacent. Go sit back in your chair and do the same old shit, rinse and repeat. Well, this is what we're trying to change. Until you change the self image of yourself in your mind, you are gonna stay exactly where you are. You are never gonna get any further. You're going to stay the same. How do we change this? We have to change the self-image within our mind. So your subconscious mind accepts your thoughts and whatever they may be, negative or positive, for the truth. 
Okay. I kind of relate this back to like back in the day with OJ Simpson, if you guys were around for that. And he like truly believed like <laughs> OJ Simpsonitis, I call it. He truly believed what he thought. So it's kind of that kind of thing, you know, like, so you can put this out there, right? And it's sort of a big, vicious cycle too, when it comes to negative thoughts. And that's what you put out there is what you attract. So it's like Velcro as well. So if you put negative thoughts out there, it's like negative thoughts attract to negative thoughts. But what if you put positive thoughts out there? Then positive thoughts would be attracted to positive thoughts. And this is what we truly need to what we need to start attracting into our life to bring light and happiness. So I'm not going to say everything's going to be roses every single day, right? But we need to get through and be happy and try and work our day as, as happy as we can and not be miserable. So create a winning image of yourself in your mind to portray to yourself. Your mind is in between reality and the imagination. You're trying to change your thought process into tricking your mind. It doesn't know the difference. You're tricking into thinking that you're good, that you are a winner instead of like, I think I'm a winning, I'm winning. Instead of you want to tell it that you are winning. Okay. So you want to trick your mind and you want to be clear and you want to be detailed about this thought process. Okay. So this is where we're going to get into your vibration and we're going to get a little wooey. Okay. So when your vibration is in alignment with your unit, with the universe, this is when things are going to bring things to you. So you're going to establish your intentions and what you want in life and be specific. Okay. So I want to be a great hairdresser, not specific enough. I want to be a great hairdresser that does amazing haircuts, or I want to be amazing barber that does amazing phase, or I want to be an amazing colorist that does the most beautiful balayages. Be specific in your intention. Visualize what you want. Your mind can't tell the difference. See yourself as you're already there. So, in visual, so visualize yourself. Like see yourself painting this beautiful balayage or see yourself doing these beautiful, gorgeous haircuts. Visualize yourself, okay? So increasing your vibration through emotion. Now let's add emotion to this, right? How are you? feeling when you're doing this? Are you feeling excited while you're painting the hair? Are you, fuck yes, man, look how beautiful and blended that is. Oh, yes, it's beautiful. Oh, my client's going to love it. Oh, girl, this is going to look so smoking. Ah, yes. You feel the emotion when you're doing it, right? And then everything is just taking off and you just can feel all this running through your body and you are processing this. Through your brain, you are truly believing this is going to be a success. You believe in yourself. You created this winning image of you being a master at this, okay? Now, you've manifested it. You've put it out into the universe. Now, be ready to receive it. Now, don't stress if it doesn't happen tomorrow or next week or next month. You have to put into it, you have to keep putting it out there, and you have to be ready to receive it. Believe it, believe in the process, relax and await and receive. Look, I looked for a salon for years, and the way I received my salon was the craziest story ever, and I do not have enough time to go into it, but it was very serendipitous. It was very matrixy. I'll call it a very angelic, okay? It was very, very weird, but it's what I put out there. I manifested it and it happened. I envisioned what my salon was gonna look like and it looks like it. So I put this all out there and it can happen for you too. I know if you work this process that you can have everything you want. So, but hang tight for just a second, guys. Before we continue, I want to be totally transparent with you here because you guys know I'm a bull, no bullshit kind of person, okay? You guys all know I'm here to sell you a course today, okay? And if you think I'm giving you some really great value right now, I'm so not done. And if you think that what I'm giving you here is great, just wait till you see what this course entails. 
Besides these three awesome points I'm giving you today, I'm going to give you two more bonuses towards the end. So just stay tuned. Okay, so we are getting, oh, Claire, can you see yourself? I shoved you in the box because <laughs> I couldn't see my words. But just stay tuned and we will um, get to the end of the webinar with the two bonuses coming up right now. So point two. How to earn more money behind the chair, work less, have confidence, charge for it, and maintain a work-life balance. So who's down for learning some of this, guys? Give me a little bit of boom, boom in the chat box. I'm going to read and see what's in here. I'm going to take a sip of sip. Uh... Okay. Manifest, baby. Yes. Yes, good. I'm glad you guys are all seeing my light. Boom, boom. Yes. Boom, boom. Okay, guys, so point two. So if you guys sign up for this webinar, you definitely got my script about how to like kind of get some conversation going behind the chair and just like upsell. I mean, my scripts are, I mean, like I can, I can sell, like, I don't even need to bring Santa to Sahara, you know, like I literally am so, I'm so good at selling and I want to teach you guys how to sell too. So what if you can create a business that curates your ideal lifestyle with clients that pays your prices and respects your times and boundaries? Would you guys love that? That would be so amazing, right? Like, oh my God. So here are some more money-making tips behind the chair. So we all know that you guys can just like increase your prices, right? Like that's a given. But when was truly the last time you increased your prices? Was it over a year? Because if it's been over a year, it's time, guys. Inner booking or double booking. Now, this is a hot debate, guys. And I am the queen of double booking, inner booking, or triple booking. <laughs> but I do work with an assistant. And um, I do think that that's money well spent. Menial tasks like shampooing and taking out garbage is not something that I feel that is in my wheelhouse. And that I can pay somebody to do. And that I am better served standing behind my chair, cutting hair, or doing highlights and color. So inner booking um, also proves, I mean, just prove more productivity that you put out. You're just going to earn more money, period. Upselling. So if you have a hole in your name, hey, you guys got my script. Hey, Judy, you know, I know you wanted those highlights. And I don't know if I'm going to have time next time, but I had a cancellation. And I have time today. So would you be interested in getting those today? Or I just got this really great conditioner and I think your hair is a prime candidate for it. Want to do that conditioning treatment? It's like 20 bucks, dude, but you're going to love it. Easy peasy. Talk their language. Talk like you're your friend. And I really feel like that helps. And let your clients do the marketing for you. A referral program, but I warn you to put a monetary limit on this because they'll be sending you your baby, their baby is a customer. Okay, well, my, but my baby came, doesn't that count? No, your baby does not count. Okay, so you have to put like a monetary limit on it or they have to receive a color service or, and then you give them something free, do not discount them. I never give anybody a discount. I only give them something free. Also, I charge for my consults because my time is my time. And if I do four consults in one day, that's an hour of my day. And that I could have installed a complete full highlight and charged $350 for that service. So I charge for my consults. Also, it's a good faith for me as well. Like you care about your hair, you care. You care about your time, you care about my time. Cool, let's see each other. And then charging for everything you do. So this is a really big thing that a lot of people don't do. Like, oh, I'm gonna throw some curls in our hair. Okay, cool, 15 bucks. We're just gonna get a quick conditioner treatment. Okay, 20 bucks. Oh, we're just gonna do a quick clarifying treatment under the dryer. Okay, $10. Like you add all of that up, or I just threw a couple of foils in. Okay, cool, that was like 50 bucks. You add all that up, it's thousands of dollars at the end of the year that you are missing. This is a, this is a business. This is not your friends. Yes, we make friends, but still your friends have to pay your prices. So when you start to increase your income, you can start to now take time away and spending more time doing the things you want to do. When you start to have to overbook yourself, that means you're in demand and you need to start to raise your prices to reflect the value people are giving. So let's 
talk about setting some goals. I want to set some goals in my life. And these are the goals I wanted to set. Okay, so let's talk about them. So I wanted to have a large following. And I wanted to set myself up to be an educator. And I wanted to be very in demand. So I learned that I couldn't eat a meal in one bite. And that I needed to take this in smaller bites. And that my goal wasn't going to be achieved in one minute or one day or one hour. And then I was going to have to set out bite-sized actionable goals. First, I had to get better at my craft. Step one, I was going to educate myself. I sought out all the education of all the top educators in the industry at the time. Step two, I aligned myself with all the big name educators and make sure I was seen by my clients and peers. Step three, I practiced and I practiced a lot. Step four, I commented on every post on Facebook. I talked, I read, I learned, and I educated myself. I lived, eat, and breathe hair. This was also when Olaplex started coming out and I wanted them to know me. And I made sure they did. So this can go for any brand you love. I messaged them all the time. I posted in their Olaplex users group. I talked about Olaplex all the time. I sang the praises because I love the product and I believed in the product and I supported the product. So you could do this for any brand. You annoy the hell out of them. They start to know who you are. <laughs> Believe me. And then they start taking you places. So see, I think it's a pretty, really good hairdresser too. And when all this social media stuff started coming out, I realized I kind of sucked. And I wasn't so good. And I started seeing all this beautiful hair out there. So I made a plan and I stuck to it. And did it work? It absolutely did. And I believed in myself and I believed that it could work and that I could do this and I will do this. And whatever the goal is, making sure that your brain knows how sure you are that you are going to do this. Maybe you're telling yourself that you already are doing this. And if that keeps you motivated, then awesome. Then it will be easy and things will just start happening for you because you're already projecting it and you don't even know. And as long as you apply the framework and, um, and do the work on the daily, the weekly, and the monthly goals that you set for yourself. And believe me, these daily, monthly, they're not long. They're like a couple of minutes. And don't think it's... Don't get discouraged if these things don't happen right away. Just keep working on the framework and the goals and keep a positive mindset because believe me, anybody knows how frustrating something can get. Mm. Mm -mm. Me, I can. But see, these are my goals and my goals are not your goals. Your goals can be completely different. And it doesn't matter what my goals are versus your goals, because my framework works with anybody's goals. Whatever they are, you're going to get them by the end by using my framework. And if, and if it could be in your life, and it could be in your salon, it could be in your business, or it could be in any business for that matter. So point three, my winning VAG formula for setting goals that will move the needle in your salon. So I'm going to teach you the bite-sized actionable goals that will get your big ass goals in the matter of no time. You'll be achieving smaller goals along the way, working yourself up to your big ass goals. So we're gonna look at this like a ladder. And so these are your bite-sized actionable goals. So remember, you can't eat an entire meal in one bite. Well, you can't attain your goals in one day either. So we have to take the back approach. Now, I came up this talking with my friend Lisa on the phone, and she really likes to shop. So I was like, girl, just put that shit in the bag. You know, your shopping bag. I'm like, ooh, ooh. So just remember, I got it in the bag. Bite size, actionable goals. And whatever kind of bag resonates with you, put your ideas in there, okay? So for her, it's a shopping bag. And for my renter at work, she loves like Gucci and Coach and all that crap. So she could put it in her purse bag. And some people like Santa and I like presents. So I'll put Santa up there, but I really like the beach. I'm gonna put it in my beach bag. But actually what I really do is I have a note section in my phone and I put it all in there. And I talk to my phone. 
and it all goes in there. So it's all in my phone. So I know I can reference back to it. Okay. And that's going to come out a little bit in my bonus section of my content goals and whatever goals are. So you have them in your head. And if you forget them and have a scroll moment, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So just put that all in there. So let me explain. So let's take an example. Let's build a goal together, okay? Not my goal, let's take a goal out of the air and let's say we want to earn more money behind the chair, but we don't have time for client building, okay? So that's what it's gonna look like. So our big ass goal is earn more money behind the chair. So we're gonna break this down into smaller pieces, guys, so you don't have to zoom in or like squint, you know, or anything. So we're gonna work it in a ladder. So we have 12 months, nine months, six months, three months, and today. So we're going to break it down into smaller pieces, okay? So what can we do today behind the chair to earn more money, okay? So we're breaking it down into bite-sized actionable goals. So today, so we're going to kind of work backward. So today, so we can upsell treatments, highlights, and sell some products in the salon to our current existing clients, right? We can shout out on social media outlets and let people know that I'm available and start aggressively posting on social media. I find when I really truly need to fill my books, I really start posting some hair stuff. And I focus on the clients who have coming in the salon currently because they are already there and they are your audience, right? They're there. So now we're going to set out some goals. Now, what can I do from today till three months? So now we're going to do some research, right? Because now we got some time on our hands of like, how are we going to promote ourselves, right? Well, maybe we're going to do some promotions with other beauty service providers or maybe offer some referral programs or learn a new skill to offer your clients or looking, look into upping your social media efforts. And don't forget to reward yourself along the way, okay, for your efforts because you can't beat yourself up for not achieving your top goal without knowing how to make little goals along the way. So these are little steps that you can take along the way to get to your big ass goal. So you started seeing, started noticing an uptick in your revenue and things are starting to pay off. Money is coming in more and you're thinking about honey, money is starting to come easily to you as well because you're starting to manifest this. You're interested in possibly doing some Facebook ads, but you don't know how to do them. And so you're looking into a class on that. You're still plugging your way into Instagram, but now you're going to start to get TikTok a go, and you're going to also start to try and do some reels. So you're going to start to put yourself out there a little bit more. So, wow, nine months, everything is on fire, and you're starting to see your consistency of hard work paying off. You have increased your income, but now you want to up ante and you want to hit the big time. And that FB ads class was a bomb, was the bomb, not a bomb. It was the bomb. So you're going to give it a go. Social channels are all going, are all going well and your reels are going well and you actually got your first TikTok client in. That's awesome. Like things are really starting to move because you're actually putting in the work. You're setting out actionable goals. Okay, so now we're at 12 months and you did it. Congrats. Were there hiccups along the way? Did you want to quit? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you did it. And that's what matters. You kept plugging along. And it's okay to reassess your goals and realize that maybe you don't align with those goals anymore as you're going through your ladder, but you still keep pushing along through and you always have a finish line towards the end of the goals. So just remember to keep focus, keep a strategy, and keep alignment with your goals. And to take bite-sized actionable goals, because you could never get to making $100,000 at the end of the year without taking little steps in between, right? So rewarding yourself for obtaining and accomplishing small goals, like I said, along the way. And instead of punishing yourself for not accomplishing impossible goals, don't set yourself up for, for failure. So why would you need a mentor behind the chair? Well, you tried everything and you failed. You're about to give up. You don't know how to work for the new world of social media. You're pretty burnt out. You cannot stand your job anymore. 
You don't know where to go from here. The aches and pains of your job are keeping you from going in. You need guidance. You suffer from self-doubt and imposter syndrome. You're afraid to put yourself out there. You're lazy. You aren't sure how to implement things. You need more direction in your business because winging it is not working anymore. Goal setting tips. Dream big, write it down a lot. The power of writing and journaling. Visualize it. Choose one, dream it, focus on it. Don't have more than, don't have a whole bunch of them. Have like one or two and focus on it. Believe it. Your mind doesn't know the difference. Make it happen. Visualize it already. So this course is made exactly for all you crazy ABD hairstylists and it encompasses everything you need for the mind, the body, the financial, the spiritual, the everything. This course doesn't specialize in one thing. It specializes in everything that you need to make you feel whole behind the chair. This course will give you emotional support, spiritual support, self-empowerment. It will teach you to financially support yourself and earn a living wage. To empower yourself to set goals and achieve them. To not be a quitter. We might even do some hair too. My five my special bonus that I promise you guys is the five seconds to inaction. What do today that you can put off till tomorrow, right? This is an action. And how to get yourself motivated moving and to get your business kickstarted. Stop putting things off and just do it, okay? Get out of the routine and start something new in your life. How boring and complacent, everything. Rinse and repeat the same shit every day. So how do you get it? And how do you do it? It's all about action and stop being in action. When you have the idea to do something, do it. You have five seconds to make something happen. You're going to forget about it, okay? Let's just make it simple, okay? You have to make a doctor's appointment, right? Remember, you keep forgetting to do it, but you keep putting it off or you keep forgetting and you remember you have to do it. So you remember you have to make the doctor's appointment. You look for your phone. You check your schedule. You call the office. You make the appointment. That all took five seconds, right? And I know this was an easy example, but what if you made everything in your life just this easy, okay? So for the early bird bonus special. I will be giving a 30-minute consultation call only to the first five enrollees today. And you can click the link in the chat box right now if you want to get in on this offer. Right now, no questions asked. You don't even know how much it is, but you want to make a change in your business right now. The link is in the chat box and you can click the link right now and you can go and join. We have two payment options. We have two payments or one payment. And you can go ahead and check that right now. So stop letting things distract you like that totally just did. You know how you're going to go to your phone and you're going to go do something and you have like this total like epiphany and you're like, oh, I'm going to go do this. And you're like, oh, I have a notification. Oh, Shelly said something on Facebook. And you're like, oh, shit, what the hell was I going to do? Damn it. And then, yeah, try not to let those things happen. Those are the squirrel moments we don't want in life because God knows what that idea was that you could have been letting out if you're ahead. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. So say you want to implement a cancellation policy. Don't wait till next week. Do it today. Say you want to implement salon policies. Write them down. You can adjust them later. Just start writing them down now. Say you want to start taking some Saturdays off. Go to your book right now and start marking them off. And action will get you every time. You don't want to turn into an I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This was a long part of my life where I turned around and said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, so today I made you three promises. I promised you that I would show you the number one thing that keeps us from having confidence behind the chair, fear. I promised you that I would reveal to you how to earn money behind the chair, work less, have confidence to charge for it, and maintain a work-life balance, and I think I did that. And finally, I promised that I would teach you my winning BAG formula for setting goals that will actually move the needle in your salon business. And I showed you guys how to really set some goals there, and I'm sure you guys can break that down for whatever goal you want to set in life.
Now, obviously, there's a lot more that goes into this process of creating a solid business plan and learning how to be confident behind the chair. And I'd love to take you deeper, but it's so much more than I can cover in the time we have tonight because we are already running over time. And I know it's getting late and I want to honor your time. So I, if it's okay, I just want to take a few minutes before we end here and tell you about the program I created to help take you through the process. And by now, you know, the one thing I love the most in the world is helping other hairstylists create the business and the life they've been dreaming of. And that's why I'm so that's why I'm so excited to introduce you to Lifestyle Coaching, the six-week group coaching course for hairstylists who want to shift their business up to the next level, their skills, their business income without the overworking and toxic lifestyle. This Lifestyle Coaching program will empower yourself to charge your worth with being confident in your skills and taking on better clients that suit your energy and learning how to create your dream clientele. Letting your clients respect your time, work, practice, and prices. Go in depth with all realms of people. We analyze generations and how they affect us behind the chair in business. Creative ideas that will help you vet your clients and getting your dream client in your chair. Enhancing your branding and marketing skills to make your marketing unique to you, how to set your goals and actually achieve them. Build a community on social media that converts to paying clients. Jumpstart your new lifestyle of working less yet earning more behind the chair and be guided in the right direction and get clarity with your hairstyling business journey through our live group coaching calls every week, which is amazing. As a certified life coach, I will commit myself to helping you achieve clarity and full control of your life and business without you getting overwhelmed and burned out because I am giving you the framework to everything. Lifestylist Coaching Mastermind is just not like any other hairstylist coaching course. Not only does it focus on improving your confidence behind the chair, but it also gives attention to improving your lifestyle in and outside of the salon. So you can grow and thrive in a business without physical, emotional, financial, and mental health pain. So what you're going to get, and I'm going to try and go through these really fast, my friends. In this first module, you're going to get the strengths and weaknesses of different generations. And we deal with all different generations in our chair. How to handle imposter syndrome, negative self-talk, banishing fear and doubts will control your thoughts and actions in the salon. You will have a clearer understanding of knowing your self-worth and controlling your income and performance as a hairstylist. This is my friend Dee, and she was in my cohort as well. The most powerful and important takeaway I learned is okay to put myself first without getting the wants and needs of others first. And so create a safe and realistic space to conduct business without sacrificing the most important part, me. In module number two, you will equip with must have plug and play forms. You don't have to do nothing except enter your names and your addresses and your salon business, print them out, hand them to your clients. Guys, it'll set you up with your website forms, online bookings, say goodbye to the stress of managing booking forms, appointments manually, teaching you how to do consults confidently without fear of losing clients, income and setting yourself up for success, learning the confidence behind the chair and how to win people over with your shiny freaking personality. Absolutely. This is my beautiful friend, Claire, again. After the consultation mode, I have already begun implementing the new method I learned in this course and have had made so much more peace of mind. I no longer do consults over text. It has been life-changing because that girl was on the phone all night long texting people. I made more time to myself and feel that my consultations are more professional and thorough than ever before. And I may add, she feels like a baddie. My girl. Okay, module number three will help you learn the value pricing. Uh, by the way, go check out the Instagram video today on value. Uh, pricing costs the good so that you can charge your worth and your hair services and do it more confidently. Retail without hard selling and losing the potential income you can get from upselling your retail. Timing with the time management strategies that will help you streamline your services so you can cater to more clients and charge accordingly again says i appreciate her honesty and her no bullshit attitude towards all aspects already started to see financial benefits behind the chair we had a conversation i said what are you waiting for the new year to raise your prices girl raise them now you're fully booked get the money now so module four this will help you learn how to deal with avoid body aches and pains and 
taking care of yourself and all the energy suckers and those motherfuckers that come into the salon and piss us off and stop sacrificing your own mental health and emotional health and dealing with our clients' personal issues, pleasing them, avoiding and handling salon burnout and can release the fear that each up all your energy from those people. This also is a part of crystals and healing and it may be your new favorite module just yet. Okay, I've gotten really lately into like smells and crystals and I throw crystals at people and I'm like, hold this, you need this. And it's funny because they calm down afterwards. They love it. They're like, okay. And then like somebody tried to walk out with my crystals. I'm like, hey, give me my crystals back. This is Sarah. So on a personal level, I was ready to quit the profession altogether. And after messaging her, she was able to talk me, like literally call her personally into continuing on. She is one of the greatest educators I know. This is my friend. So in module five, this module will help you learn how to set boundaries so that you can focus on growing your business instead of ways to please your clients. Scheduling, leaving no chance to unbook schedules. Achieve work-life balance without giving up your income goals and your most loved passion. How to handle out of salon calls and texts without sounding unaccommodating, negative or impolite manifesting to get what you want intentionally without having to learn all the technical side of things. So this is going to be a big manifestation course as well, guys. So Claire again says, Claire says she goes into depth about many things we can do for ourselves to keep away negative energy. I'm feeling more confident as a hairstylist and a small business owner after taking this course. I have really been to see the positive changes it has for me and my business. So guys, in module six, you will help you learn the social media and branding so you can take advantage of the most important marketing tool any hairstylist can have and make a name that really speaks for you, the real you. Video making, letting go of perfectionism, and needing to hire a professional video creator? What? One of my clients just got quoted $2,000 a month for eight posts a month. Eight posts. And I gave you that creative content calendar for free. She's still got to create the content. She's still got to give it to them. Only thing they're going to do is post it for her. 2000 bucks. I'm going to show you how to do it. Branding and show up authentically without fear of rejection. Claire, one more time. She had said, at least had so many tips and tricks and even had an entire content calendar for 2023. We tend to overthink the process of social media, but this course provides so many tools and easily create content for your hair business. So you guys are probably wondering how much this costs. Don't check out yet, guys. Don't check out. I don't want to see the number go down yet because we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We'll work on it. Okay, guys. So we have six modules. We have the printable lesson worksheets, the live video training, the weekly live calls, an engaged Facebook group community where we're going to talk every week about the modules. It's like, it's like I'm a therapist. Okay. Downloadable forms and policies, website checklists, scripts, templates, salon overhead formula, and step-by-step -step branding guide. Okay. So if I gave you all this, more quality time with your family and friends and let you spend more hours in your passion and hobbies, would a one-time payment of $2,917 be worth it? I mean, I think so, but it's still a little pricey for me. Like, it's a little bit pricey. Let's, so let's see what we can do. So if all this saves you energy in dealing with clients, but still gives them the best quality, would a one-time payment be worth it? Like I said, guys, still just a little bit pricey. So when I was putting this package together, I realized I had to make a choice. And the first option was to make this as cheap as tip and put it in the hands of as many people as possible. But if I did that, my cost of the program and bonuses would be so high that I wouldn't be able to provide the high quality experience I know I would want for my lifestyle. My other option was to raise the price just a little so I could give you the absolute everything you need to succeed. So what do you think about this as a successful stylist? More money coming in while you are spending more time with your family is a fulfilling way to create magical styles for your clients. What's that worth to you? You could take the next hottest balayage class and sure, that's going to teach you a new trick and that's amazing. And I think you totally should do that. But it's certainly not going to tell you or give you any confidence behind the chair or how to interact with your clients, the confidence of interaction, and how to do consults and fully control your salon business. Or you can go the free route and spin your wheels on the YouTube and the Googs, trying to sift out all the good info from the outdated garbage out there. And I don't know about you, but every time I tried to learn a new skill from the University of Google, I ended up wasting a shit ton of time without really accomplishing anything. Precious time is what I wasted, I could have been spending with my family. 
Or you could do what my clients have done and use my system and build a successful business in just six weeks. I know which one I would pick. So the great news is, is you, you don't have to enroll in another balayage class or learn through YouTube or Google. It's just everything you need to create a hairstylist business of your dreams. And you don't even need to pay $1,499. Nope, you don't. You're just going to pay $499 today if you want. But before I tell you how you can reserve your spot in this course, I hate doing this, guys. <laughs> I love it, but I hate it. I want to let you in on some special extra bonuses I'm offering while enrollment for this round of Lifestyles Coaching Masterminds is open. For the next 96 hours while you enroll in the Lifestyles Coaching Program, doors before the doors close on March 6th, you will get Lifestyles Course Roadmap and Course Tracker. This course tracker will ensure your success. The Annual Business Planning Guide, this template will help you keep track of your business goals the creative content calendar. We did change it up a little bit from the other one, but we did put a lot of work into it. So if you guys didn't get it, you will also get this. And since my friend was called it $2,000, that's a hell of a deal. So Kelly Martinell, her educational skills are superb and the best I've experienced in 20 years. If you have a chance to take a class with her, you won't regret it. Thank you, my friend, Kelly. So you're getting the course and all the resources plus the three special bonuses while enrollment for this round is open and you're getting it all for just $4.99. So you get all that stuff, the six modules, the lesson workbook, the video, the weekly, the weekly live group training, the engaged Facebook group, the downloadable forms, the white, the website checklist, the script templates, the salon overhead, the step-by-step -step branding guide, plus three bonuses, and the lifestylist roadmap, the planning guide, and the creative content calendar, all for $4.99 today, my friend. So before we wrap it up tonight, I want to invite you to close your eyes and imagine yourself five years in it for now. I forgot the fun music. Will you still be doing the same thing you're doing now, working 40 hours a week to make ends meet, pleasing your clients, not having boundaries, overworked and burnt out, not being able to spend time with your family or giving up opportunities for you to grow and experience more of what you love? Or will you have invested in yourself and your family and designed a thriving lifestyleist business that helps you achieve the work-life balance and freedom of time you've been looking for minus the burnout? I know this course is going to be everything you've been looking for and more. I'm so confident that you'll succeed in this program that I've backed it with a seven-day money-back guarantee. If within seven days you've decided this mastermind isn't right for you, simply email us and support by hair by .com and let us know if you no longer want access and we'll refund you, of course, the course fees with no questions asked. So again, you get all of this stuff today for $4.99 if you join today. And remember the first five people that sign up today get a free 30 minute consult with me about your business or your social media or whatever you want to talk about. And it is completely free. And I do not offer one-on-one. -on -one. So this is a really great deal. So when I saw that Elise was offering a coaching program, something told me to jump on the opportunity. As soon as I started the course, I immediately felt validated in all the things I was feeling. And I realized I wasn't alone. Lifestylist Coaching Mastermind breaks down many different topics that affects us all as a hairstylist and provides resources to help us combat the negative of working behind the chair. So right now you have two choices. You can reserve the seat that's waiting for you inside the Lifestylist Coaching Mastermind, or you can do nothing, which definitely means getting nothing from this opportunity. Everything will go on exactly as it is now. The real question is, even if the program does only half of what it claimed today, it will have paid for itself within days or weeks. Or You'll have a successful and fulfilling business that can transform your and your family's life and career forever. You deserve a business that supports your financial and personal goals. You deserve a business that supports your financial and personal health. You can have a work-life balance and you can reach your salon dream without waiting 20 years like I did. You don't have to work your ass off to be a successful stylist. You can live the dream lifestyle without sacrificing your salon growth. 
You'll find all of that and more inside of Lifestylist Coaching Mastermind. So if you're ready to take that leap of faith in yourself and your business and join us inside Lifestylist Coaching Mastermind, here's what you need to do. Sign up. Check the chat box for the enrollment link right now. Um, again, it's $4.99, guys, and we have two payments of $2.79 that you can do or one payment of $4.99, okay? And then we only have a few minutes left, so I want to be sure I've answered all your questions before we hop off. Um, I do want to mention that you guys do have lifetime access to this, um, so as long as the course is ready, and if anything new, I refilm or redo or add anything to it, guess what? You get it. And so that's the really cool part about it because as a perfectionist, I'm never happy with anything. So I will refilm and redo everything probably a hundred times. So if you guys have any questions down in the chat box before we wrap everything up. So I have taken one hour and 15 minutes of your time. So if you guys have any questions and also we have three alum here, I think, I think we have Dee, Claire and Lisa here. Um, that they can answer any of your questions as well um, about lifestylist coaching, if you have any. So we'll hang around for a couple of minutes. And then um, just remember that the link is in the bio and that we have the two payments of $279 or $499. You signed up. I'm so excited. Oh, Dawn. Let's see. We got Dawn. We got, oh boy. So exciting. Yeah. I'm so excited, guys. Hold on. My phone's being weird. We have four signups so far. I'm very excited. And I've actually cut Dawn's hair. Me too. Say your name so they just see iPhone. Let me see. Usually my phone does options. No. Let's see. I'm going to have to go to my Kajabi thing. Okay, guys. Say your names. Sent you a DM. Dawn, thank you so much. You did an awesome job tonight. Thanks, Cookie. I hope to see you in Lifestylist Coaching. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. This was great, Elise. Guys, if you love this, and even if you don't sign up and you found value in this, I would love if you guys sent me just a little DM about how much you enjoyed this. And if you guys um, found value from this, that would be amazing. I'm so excited for everybody who signed up for this. Hi, Vicky. Um, and that was here. And I am just so happy that you all were here and took the time to spend with me. So happy. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you for coming, guys. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, I'm so happy for my alum to be here. Guys, the card is open. Until Monday, we're going to have a little surprise webinar. Um, I'm going to shut um, my screen share down right now. Stop share. Um, we're going to have a little surprise webinar next Monday again. Um, nobody knows about it yet, but you guys right now. And I am really thankful for you all being here. And I am super thankful for everybody who signed up. The five people who signed up um, will get an email from me within the next couple of days. Let me loose off from this because this has been very overwhelming for me. Um, but I appreciate all of you so very much. And I thank you. Spread the word. Um, you guys are getting pictures of me on here. Can you tag me? And then um, I appreciate it. Okay. I can't wait to implement all the social media tips I learned. Oh, here we go, Claire, as I move into my new suite this week. I know your new suite looks so cool. This course has changed my mindset as a hairstylist completely. Sign up. You will not be disappointed. Thank you. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, everybody. Okay, guys, if there is no other questions, you guys are going to get spammed like crazy from me now with email uh, to sign up. And um, thank you, everybody who has. And I appreciate it. And I want everybody to have a good night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.